Hi, and welcome to Two Tired Teachers. We are coming at you from Grand Tetons National Park. And what a park it is. And this is the things there are to do here. Get some amazing views of the Grand Tetons. And just uh, down the road, you can get a picture of the glacier. And the Tetons are absolutely amazing because it's like they just rise up out of nothingness and then there they are. And majestic, yes. And lighting makes a ton of difference. We got here early this morning and the sun was starting to shine on different portions. Really breathtaking yes. and stunning. Um, wildlife is another thing that people are anxious to see when they come through here. Um, we have seen female moose. Yes. We've not seen any bull moose, but we have seen female. Uh, first one this morning was actually just on the road, and then we realized she had some friends there in the trees. Yes. Uh, but we were upon them and passed before we, we can realized. We get a camera. Yeah. yeah. And so um, we saw a little deer bouncing around over the way. Um, and then. When we actually got into Jackson, we uh, met somebody who is from this area, and he told us where uh, moose and uh, there's more likely to be bear activity. We finally found that road. This is the Saturday after Labor Day, <laughs> and um, there's carnival or fall festival there's or fall something, festival in and Jackson. Jackson and everything around here is just kind of a zoo today because it's gorgeous uh, but we did come back across that uh, road yeah and um, had to detour because of a bike race <laughs> but we ultimately got on the road where the bear are supposed to hang out and did see a moose a female moose down getting some water but it's been gorgeous but one of the things one of the things that we did that we really enjoyed it was so cool we went to a national fish hatchery and they only specialize in the brown trout I believe it is and they are so knowledgeable and it was so much fun seeing the stages of the trout as they're getting ready to be released and that is their big deal this is a national hatchery yes and the woman who was working there was from the, the Dallas Fort Worth yeah, area grapevine and she hadn't heard of our town but she knew where Abilene was but anyway um we um we got a lot of information there they did at the end you, there was a pond there where there's some nice trout, and if you have a fishing license, you can fish. You can keep a trout per license per day. There um, is cell service there, and you can go online and order a fish license. Fishing license, yeah, it's fourteen dollars a day. Uh, we that was still early in the morning. We had a lot of exploring to do, so we didn't uh, choose to to do that. But it's just a really neat place. The trophy trout they had there were really incredible, and that was a lot of fun. Yes. We and I cannot tell you how knowledgeable the guides are. They're volunteer. The couple we met volunteers five months out of the year, and they know a lot of stuff about the fish hatchery. And we did not take a lot of time to explore Jackson because... It's a town. It folks. was yeah. It, it was a is. fall festival, and it was there was no parking anywhere, and it was just kind of overrun. So yes. we did not do that. But just driving through the Grand Tetons National Park Has is been amazing, and getting getting here early in the morning to see the wildlife. Uh, bring a picnic so that you can stop and just yes. enjoy the view as you enjoy your lunch uh, it is an awesome place to come and visit and uh, 
see and, and learn. Enjoy nature. If you'll look at the map, you'll see there are various villages, basically the same as Yellowstone. These villages are going to have various uh, amenities, but a general these, store. These may have Grand Teton shirts. <laughs> exactly. It's going to have Grand Tetons, but a general store, some gas stations, um, various groceries, visitor centers, and souvenirs, information, etc., campgrounds, and so uh, you can see where those are located and if you're wanting to stay actually in the park or the surrounding areas, you can see that. And then you can also, one of the things I liked about the Grand Teton map is it does show where there are some national forest campgrounds that are just yes. outside of uh, the Tetons. So. Um, it is a beautiful park and there is a bike trail. You've seen some bike cyclists going by, uh, and rather extensive. What is it? 18 miles one way? That's only a chunk of it. That's one section of it. And they have a really, uh, a really nice way to allow people to get around without having to, um, wait in long traffic lines. So anyway, we hope you've enjoyed our look at the Grand Tetons National Park. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching, watching Two Tired Teachers. teachers.